Today we're going to give you guys some tools and tips how to get the perfect haircut every time. I'm Rasmus and you're watching Slick Hair TV. Nowadays, every stylist or barber will have their own Instagram or YouTube account slash Facebook. So go there, check it out, see how they work and see if it's something that fits your needs. Tip number two, you should definitely check out the place, walk by a couple of times, look inside the windows, see if the place is busy and then go inside and talk with the personnel. Get a feeling of who you're dealing with and if you don't like the place, you can always say, I don't have time that date or that moment. So you can just walk out and get back to it anytime you like or find another place. Now is the moment to find the right time and date for your haircut. Everything is tied up to a schedule when it comes to a barber. So when should you actually get your appointment? First in the week is always a good time. And then you'll also like to find the first time in the schedule in the morning. My advice here, take an hour off before lunch and get your haircut. Then the hairdresser will have the most time for you. And tip number four. Like any other great relationship, you need to talk about the things. And here I'm talking about the hair actually. When you get there, your hairdresser or barber will have no idea how you like your haircut. So bring plenty of pictures. Also tell how you like the length on the top and the sides and how you used to style it. Maybe even bring some pictures of your own hairstyle back in the days or from the last haircut. And when it comes to give your barber advice, remember he's the expert. So you don't need to tell him how to do the work. He knows exactly how to cut the hair. If you don't get the result that you imagined before getting into the chair, remember if it's your first time at the barber, you guys need to find each other because the perfect haircut will probably uh, exist the second or the third time you get to the place. Now it's time to bring up your notebook because you've already been to the hairdresser, barber, plenty of times. All right, so by that mean, you can tell your barber if it's a new place, that you like three millimeters on the side, gradually longer to six millimeters through the top here. And then we have a small undercut and we cut the crown two to three centimeters in the back and it will be gradually longer to four to five in the front. So that means you have the measurements to give to your barber and he can cut it together to the perfect dish. All right, I mean haircut. <laughs> Tip number six, bring your own hair products. Why is that? Because most of the salons might not have your favorite and desirable hair products. So also when you work in the industry of the hairstyling, you like to talk about hair products. So your barber and hairdresser will like and love to talk with you about your hair products and also you will have the perfect results because you know how your hair reacts with those nice products you have at home. Of course most barbers know these four steps but you actually like to talk with them about how you style your hair with the four step system. You do a nice hair wash, then you pre-style, then you style with the wax and then you finish up with some layers of hairspray. Tip number eight, get your barber's feedback. Often you need to go through different steps to get to the perfect hairstyle. What I mean by that, if it's an undercut, you might need to grow out the top a little bit longer to get the perfect division from the sides to the top. And it could also be you're growing out your hair and you need a trim here and there. So you need to uh, schedule the next appointment while you're in the salon so you will not pass out on these important steps to get to your goals. We're almost done guys. Remember we have the like, subscribe and comment competition. The secret giveaway. You just need to put your comment in the comment section and you can participate in a secret competition where you can win some secret stuff. You'll find out in the next episode. See you guys next time.